Hi all, welcome to ASP.NET Web Series. Myself, Krishn Chaitanya. I am a Microsoft application developer. Here in this session, I will explain about the ASP.NET lifecycle. In the last session, we were discussing about the ASP.NET basic folder structure. As we seen in the last session, ASP.NET contains the there are some basic folders are required to develop a small web application and we are seen in the small web application with a small example where we are showing the data on the server page here in this session i will explain about the asp.net life cycle what is the life cycle whenever user makes the request to the web server web server request to the hosting environment and the pages and web application everything is happened in the web hosting environment and it makes a response and response back to the web server and the response data is shown in on the browser window and once it is completed memory has been destroyed this total process will be occur in the asp.net life cycle so as we discussed whenever the request makes from the web server request object is created and then in the application manager hand over to the hosting environment in this case page initialization is happened and dynamic output is produced page is compiled means asp.net page will not understand by the web browser any web browser can understand the html content only so to make the html content a browser to understand asp.net using the compilation to render the page as a HTML so that the page initialization, page rendering, and page compilation happen in the page lifecycle. And the once page is compiled and the response object is created, and the page is means or the data is handed over to the response object. The response object <coughs> renders the response on the web server once the response is completed all objects which are happened during the request and the response and are in the main thing all objects are destroyed and the memory will be lost so by this we will say the definition the all web or asp.net browser application will be occur in this stateless protocol so as we see so this can be divided into the two groups means whenever the request means page then generation complete and the response back the total can be divided into the two groups one is application life cycle and the second one is the page life cycle what will be happening in the application life cycle and what will be happening in the page life cycle in the last session we are seeing the what are the events everything happened in the application life cycle in the application life cycle whenever user makes the request request object is created and the request object is request object is created here itself from the client and is transferred to the web server web server pass that request to the application manager where the application manager manual hand over to the hosting environment my server is hosting here itself and it requests you found from all these pipelines okay so IIS will make a one undefined pipeline for the transfer of the request from the client to the hosting environment in the hosting environment global level events will be happened application levels are happened and then session events are happened after phase life cycle will happen once the phase life cycle is completed again application level will be happened after that total memory destruction is completed and the response object hand over to the application manager the response and is back to the is web server and user can able to see the total response or see how it is in the practical one by one as we discussed in the last session the application events will be happening in the global AS file so the application start application begin request session start and any authentication if you got any error in meantime will happening actually error 
event will be fired after that based on the configuration session will be end once the user application is completed means the user closing the application application and will fire or So we are everything we are here seeing in the last session. Just quick a look on these things. Here I am launching the browser. Here my have set as a default as a Chrome. So Chrome browser is starting here. And you are seeing the something is happening here. What is happening? User may I have I am the user here. I am making a request to the web server. By default, Visual Studio itself has a web server. It will make web servers and it will get the port. Um, it will start here, it is getting the port and it will start the web application. And here, as you see, it is loading a key form. Uh, once here means request object is created and the application life cycle is started so my application start method is fired this is application method start will fire only once at the beginning of the first request of the web application only afterward here to step over the next method i am clicking on f5 it will step over to the next method directly whatever the debuggers are placed here begin request happen authentication request Web server config not list on the kind of something got the error. Here, as we see in the error, I'm getting some error. What is that one? By default, I need to set the web application, which is the default to execute. Means here it is as we see in this slide. As we see in this slide. IS request is happen and is hand over the application manager. The application events or events are happened and the application manager will check the what is the default web page to load. Here I am not setting any default web application. I will close from go to Visual Studio. I will stop the running of the process. I will go to Solution Explorer. Here, this is my web application. Right click on it. When I right click, I have some context menu. In the context menu, I will set this web application to be run whenever the request is happened in this particular server. I will set this as a startup page. So, all this web form one will come as a startup page. If you have any other web forms, whatever the web form it is set as a startup, the particular web form will be requested by the application manager and will, it will be coming. We will see. I will press running, press F5 to run application. Here, yeah, request object is created. Request object is requesting to the server, and my application is started. Means the domain is started. Session is started. So now it is going to the web form one page, and the page pre init is happened. And so here itself, page life cycle will start. What is the page life cycle? Page life cycle will start all pages content which has been rendered, compilation and render back to the server and destroying the memory. All these events are happen in the page life cycle. So there is some predefined events in the page life. We'll see, we'll see one by one event. What are the events will be occurred in the page life cycle? First one is page pre init name itself. These are the events will be occur in the page license. Those are pre init, initialization, initialization complete, load, load, preload, load, control events, load complete, pre render, save state complete, render, unload. 
and we will see one by one what is the use of at the initial initialization state here the pre initialization in the pre initialization there is a no phase are not yet created before creation of the any phase and controls on the phase and firing the events of the control in the first stage itself pre initialization will be happen and pre initialization will check the it is a post back request or is a call back or is any cross phase was phase post back properties we will check these things in a later how the request will be come and in this pre initialization state it will create the dynamic control if you have any other dynamic controls which is not designed on the designer as we seen in the last session i have designed a one button control i will show that one this is my button control but there is a one feature with asp.net web applications i can able to split the designer view split view source view when i click on the source view html content and asp content combination will show when i click on the split view it will show about the asp page and the designer page if i press any enter here so same thing break is happen when i press any another thing another break is happen mm. if i drag any tag here the particular information will be come here and we have any other dynamic controls other than this predefined controls we want to define those thing everything is happen in this case and while develop any application it will require the master page to to set the master page dynamically in this stage it will happen on the way in your web application we have any theme properties those themes will be happen here on the reader set the profile property values everything is happen here so this is the first event will be occur in the page like cycle as you see here i am getting the debugger i will press f10 to step over the next line and once the page pre render is completed it will decide the what is the action is happened from the request here it is the action is the and dynamic controls production set the themes of the master page or any other ui related changes and once the page pre initialization completed it will go to the initialization so here i have pressed the action and step over the yes event here i have defined the debugger so debugger is coming to here what will be happen in the initialization so our web page contains the controls in this stage all events of the individual controls occur and that control every control having the some properties for example if i take the one button controls button can have the style properties or text properties all properties of the particular control will be having defined here or if i take the text box if i define that place holder for the text box those type of properties are read in this stage once the reading is and everything is completed whatever the controls on the web page then that particular method will execute it out and after that is i have here i have step over to the next method that is the page initialization complete what it will be doing and as we discuss any web application which is the html content control it don't have the any state it is the asp.net control it maintains the state we'll see how it is and for that line we have noted here html control don't have the any state but asp.net control having the state that state is maintained in this control how it is required whenever the application is parsed it will maintain the view state view state based on the view state of the application it will get the if you enter the text in the text box it will get that particular state of the text and it will store that particular view state we will see once the application is completed here 
means all the methods are executed on the server we will see how the view state is maintained and once the view state of the any all controls are completed it will go on to the preload means initialization has been completed now we need to start the loading of the web page in this case it will be after after view state of the all controls are loaded and the page is going to ready and here in this case the page is defined and the page is defined page level controls are defined and all events are happen if you have any other changes for that control we can make here and once pre and preload complete will come to the page load what we will do in the page load so page is loading and in this page load to get the data from the database server or to get the data from the service or to get the data from the any other other application or to get the information or data from the third party controls or any other rest services will those all things happen here so it will establish a data base connection here itself or any service connection here itself everything will be happen here how to request the data from the database that i will make another video session for that one how to get the data from the db and update the data back to the database and the save update delete actions and how to get the data from the service and rest service or any other web applications i will make one video for that one and once the data everything process completed it is coming to the page load complete In before the page load complete here i have the button and it is having the click action when it will fire whenever if you apply some action on the button click it will fire how i will show how it is fire because this is the initial load, loading or the first load of the web application so button level events are not firing means are any other control events are fire when now that particular event is rise here my button click events is not rise so it will not fire so page load is completed action will firing we have any control level events control will fire and here my stage is the load complete whenever all the event handlings are completed this rise event will complete we use this event for the task that is required for all the other controls on the web page load we have any other dynamic action has to be performed but our control in this stage you can use once is completed the page is ready events everything has happened and the page is going to render means in this stage page is compilation is completed and page is come last stage of the in the compilation it is going ready to make the html content on the application manager and application manager makes a response to the back to the web server and on pre render on pre render makes the final changes to the content of the page or controls before rendering the page begins when i step over to the fn we will come to the next one on pre render complete in the pre render complete we have the any data bound controls means grid controls or some any other controls grid related stuff we need to bind the data those things will be happen in the pre render complete means i have the data i don't want to see as a user my id means i have rendered some grid view data grid view data can have the id username and some other things but as a developer i don't want to see my id on the user point of view so in this case to remove that particular id from the data and to assign the any other particular actions for that one means in the grid view i want to create the each delete and update options end up in particular row in the grid view i have the 10 rows which end of the one row i need to have the click action with view link to define those things will be happen on pre render complete once those are completed here i need to 
state maintenance means a as i said asp dot net controls the state maintenance by using the view state use view state and control state has been saved to the page for all the controls on the page it is saved how it is saved we will see it is a practically once this execution completed once the page is next stage is a page unload once the response is created response back to the application manager and it is back over the iis web server and it is shown in the, on the user page but after that one page load whatever the events are we are defining we are having that some database con consumes and this other another consumes are there means i have some variable queues all variables and all content on the we need to dis dispose here or by default whatever the objects which are created by the page life cycle everything can be destroyed here once this is executed here i have press shift f9 to launch command in the here i type the response object so here we are seeing that one in the above step here we are seeing the response object but uh, in this case i am not able to see the response it is showing the uh, error throw an exception html web http exception because everything is rendered and the page is going to unload this is the particular for the memory creation of that particular page life cycle if i said this is to step over the previous statement our previous method on particular line of the code we are here we are having that feature in the previous studio right click on that main particular place set this as a next statement unable to set the next statement cannot be set to the another function in this case because everything is completed my page is going to render i am at the stage of the clearing the memory and in this case i lost the previous total information so unable to step over here here i'm pressing the f5 so as whatever the defined in this all the stages the content is rendered pre init 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 complete preload page load page load complete but events are event related information not getting because i'm not firing any event related information pre render pre render complete on stage state and finally whatever the content this is the content from the ASPX page here i am launching the developer tools how to launch the developer tools press f12 um, as you see here i am trying to use the one icon so I have browser tool in the console it will shows the icon if you whatever the exceptions are occur means after getting the response but i guess that the particular part of the response is not understood by the server browser or uh, to try to load the one image or try to load the any other script file if it is file it is not found then this all logs will be happen in the console or right. here i'm going to the elements Now I said ASP.NET control will maintain the state. Here we are seeing by using the view state. So view state make one hidden control and the encrypted data is showing here. Based on the view state, where when it will happen on the pre-render, pre-render complete uh, after the on save state. the view state of the control will check if it is happened or not but initially when it will be initialized it will be initialized in the state of the initialize completed in this state that variables will be defined uh, of the definition in the save state completed method the view will be this view state will be rendered to further control here one more thing i have 
Human and HTML content. Here I'm going to, but there we are not seen in the one action that is the control action. So whenever the control action is performed, here I'm performing my control action. In the control action performance, application stay, application start will not fire again because already my application is started. Only request the begin request is firing. So in the application life cycle, application will start only once whenever the user first time requests the application for the post that class prospect, those type of actions are controlled actions. Control level events will not fire the application start again. Here I'm pressing the F5. Authentication is happened. Already my session is started, so session start method will not fire. It will come into the page life cycle. In the page life cycle, all events are one by one will fire. Page is load completed. Here we are seeing the button click action. Here I'm giving the ID as the button one. Here my button is there, then ID is the button one. And here I am uh, I am having the on click action. How to set this on click action? Go to the properties in the properties. How I am assigning the event I will show because currently web application is running. How to assign a particular event for the particular control? I will show once this execution is complete. Here I am pressing the F5 to step over the next debugging. So here is pre initialization, initialization, initialization complete, preload, page load and the button action is performed page load is completed render render complete view state is maintained so finally my text is appearing here this is the total life cycle of the asp.net life cycle so application life cycle with page life cycle combination of those three is the asp.net life cycle page life cycle will occur for every request but in the application life cycle, only the some events, application start, session start will be occur at the starting of the application. Once the application is ended, after session end session, application will, will happen. In the meantime, only begin request and authentication request. If any error found, those things will be happen here. So here I'm starting with stopping the debugging, going to SP okay. Right click on button going to the properties in this property going to the event section if here i am having the my click action so that the particular click action will be generated here in the toolbox i have the different types of the control I will make in the next video session what are the, uh, these things, what is the useful of everything. Here I have taken the one standard control of the text box. Here we have search text. Here Wherever the cursor is there in particular place, that will be happen. Here I am pressing the text box one. Here is the standard standard means it is a PHP control HTML. The HTML I will make it. text box. So it is a run at server. So in the button click action, run at the server means whatever the Controls the particular controls events or control the data will be consumed in the server side to how to consume it based on the making the control as a runner server by defining the runner server the particular control will become the server control in the page load.
button i am going to the button click action here i will consume the control text text box one dot text Here I have in the other text box, text one. So now try to consume the text one, but you will not consume that one because it is not a text form of right text text one. We are not getting a text one because it is not a server control. As I said. ASP.NET controls will maintain the state, server controls only maintain the state, but HTML controls will not maintain the state because server controls having the view state, but HTML controls do not have the view state because whenever server controls will render in the pre render complete, their view state is assigned on state complete, the view state is written back to the browser here well, we will see the how asp.net control will hold the data and how html control will not hold the data we will see that one here i am pressing f5 or click here to launch the browser so request is happening here i am going to this browser my application started because it is a new request. Session started, page like cycle started. Here I have the two text now. First one me. Here I will type that. ASP control control click on the button so begin request is happen authentication has been initialize may happen and my here I as I said ASP control will maintain the view state and it is maintaining the particular data of the control. But once the render is completed, the once the render is completed, that the HTML text will lose the data because of the view state. Launch the browser to uh, right click here, view faces. The view faces will see that the whatever the elements of the the text box one this is the text one is the html this is the asp control here we are having the some hidden data here i have having the two asp controls one is the button control and another one is the text control So two hidden fields will be created with the two view states. One is for the text box, another one was the button control. By the console, we are having a lot of features for the debugging in the script side. Actually, we are debugging in the server side. How to debug in the client side? I will show whenever we are here developing one application using the script file. So in the unload, whatever the events are above defined are text. Here I try to consume the response dot write.
here i can able to type the text i will launch the browser to application store Here I'm getting the error. Response is not available in this context because the state of the page unloading means what are the memory assigned in the top level for the events application? Total memory is going to destroy in this stage. So whenever any error which is happening that particular request of that application, then application error request method will be coming here. So it will. Showing that one because error is showing. Throwing, we are throwing the error, so it is showing, showing the error on the page. So, this is the total application life cycle and phase life cycle of the ASP.NET. Thank you for watching in the next video session. I will make video on what are the con we are here. We are showing the sum of controls. In the toolbox, we are seeing the different controls. When will come the toolbox? If I mean the ASX or designer, in that case, only toolbox data will show. Here we are having the different controls. What are these controls? And the, are these controls or also what is the actual user in the practical application? We'll make another video for this session. In the next session for this one. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.